Hello friends, today we are going to talk about system design of Instagram Reels. The design is similar for TikTok and even YouTube Shorts. So the functional requirement here is that we need to upload the video. So users will have the provision, they can upload the video and we should be able to show the, the video in the feed. So basically this, this particular system is somewhere in between the actual Instagram and the Netflix. If you remember the Netflix design that we had. So this seems like a similar thing. Now the only difference here that I see is that in case of Instagram, we used to just see the picture, do like, comment. And in case of this, uh, this system, which is the Reels, we will upload videos. So user will have a feed which will contain videos from other users. Now non-functional requirement, uh, high availability, it will be similar to Instagram. Low latency, which will be similar to your Instagram picture upload, but in this case we are handling video, so still we should have we should give low latency while upload. Otherwise, uh, people will get fed up while uploading if it takes long time. So maybe we can make it asynchronous and all. System should be scalable because now everyone who was there on Instagram or TikTok or on YouTube, they will be uploading this short videos. Now one thing that I missed is that these videos that people will upload it should be short videos it should not be more than like 20 seconds 30 seconds video so these all will be small small videos and finally eventual consistency is okay so this kind of system we are okay if the video is shown in the feed after like five minutes or ten minutes or even an hour when it is uploaded by the time it is shown to some of the users so that is fine and we are okay with that so for overall design we have a client now this client can be any phone which can be android phone or uh, an apple phone or a desktop or a laptop so that particular client will make a connection with the load balancer of our application and load balancer it will redirect it to the various services so the first service that we'll talk about is the upload service this upload service is similar to the upload service we talked about in the netflix video do check out the design on Netflix if you have not already checked out. So the main purpose of this upload service is to do ingestion. So it will take the input from the client and it will ingest it into our system so that it is made available in other scenarios. Now how the upload service will work here because since we have small video, we have like 20, 30 second video. So we have an option like in case of Netflix, we used an external blob storage. But here we have to take a decision that whether we want to use the blob storage or we can store the video itself in the database. And if we want to do that, what kind of database we'll choose. So in my perspective, what I thought or what I think is that the database here again should be an RDBMS and we should not store the video in the database. The video should be stored in a separate distributed storage. It can be a blob storage and we store only the metadata in the database the reason being uh, we don't want to compress the original video too much so that uh, uh, so that we have to fit it in database and database size should not increase and when concurrent query comes so io will be high and all for all those reasons i just want to keep the database simply for storing the metadata and let even the small video not only the video even the thumbnail for that video i'll put it in the distributed storage so in my design i prefer this method but since we are storing small videos you can always take a call maybe if you think an rdbms is not the way to go then you can choose another kind of database which can help you but in my opinion i feel this particular data is structured so let's not play around with it and uh, my sql kind of database and rdbms will be a good choice and let us put the video and the thumbnail those pictures in a distributed storage that is my opinion so what all things we will store in the database so we can store the video video id comments everything all those things which are structured we can put it in the database now once the video is uploaded we have put the video in distributed storage what we will do is we'll put an event in a distributed queue so this event in the distributed queue will serve as a uh, basically an indication to some other service to start their work. Now I am not going to disc 
discuss in detail about the service like video splitter maybe in this case we do not even require a video splitter but we will require a encoder and all those things so we will have a content verification service just to check whatever video that has been uploaded by the user it does not harm anyone else so it should not contain violent contents or uh, contents which are altered or it's defaming someone that kind of things should not be there so we'll have some rules and based on that rules we will apply those rules on the uh, on the video that is uploaded so we have a content verification service on top of that we can have uh, another service which will be an encoder basically so here we can have an encoder I have not added it on purpose because these things were already covered as part of Netflix video. So what this encoder will do is, uh, we might be uploading the video from an Android phone, but uh, we want it to be available in all the phones and across desktop, laptop, even TV. So that is why an encoder service is required, which will basically convert the video into different codec, different format and resolution. So that is why an encoder service is required. Now, once we have uh, the video uploaded, it has to be made available to the other user. So we need to create a video feed. Now video feed service, what video feed service will do is, video feed service will create the home page for the Instagram Reels or even for the TikTok or YouTube shorts. So when you open your TikTok application, you see list of videos that is coming to you. Similar to how we discussed in Instagram video, system design for Instagram that when user opens up the application they are able to see the feed or the picture feed from their friends who are follow who you are following and even the celebrity that you are following so similar to that video feed service also will provide the feed video from the friends you are following and the celebrity you are following so what approach we will take here is similar to the picture one so we will uh, basically pre-compute or uh, pre-prepare the uh, the home page or the feed, feed page where you are going to see all these video and the approach that we will use for that is the same fan out approach that if you are following 10 people then whenever you upload the video so a feed will be pushed into the uh, into the uh, into the home page of those 10 people unless you are a celebrity so to pre-compute this video feed service finally will talk to the distributed cache and it will pull up the feed from this distributed cache. Now how this distributed cache will be populated is through a feed generator. So this feed generator is nothing but every time someone uploads a video, it will listen to the event if once this content verification and encoding everything is done. What this feed generator will do is it will pick up that particular video. It will see that okay, this is the user ID and uh, it will go and check that user ID is being followed by how many people so if that video ID is, uh, if that user ID is followed by 10 people so it will go to each of those 10 people's timeline and it will pre-compute and put that particular video into the timeline of that particular user so in distributed cache for each user there will be a memory allocated and for each user there will be like 10 videos which are pre-computed and placed there that whenever that user opens up the application they will see those 10 videos first and later on if they want to see more videos then they then they can basically refresh the application and a push call will be made and whatever is the 11th video to the 20th video so those videos will be pulled again from this cache itself so that is the whole point of having the feed generator pre-computing the feed and finally having a distributed cache now i have not added the search service here again basically the search service will also be similar to what was the search uh, service that we created in the netflix it will be exactly similar to that there will be no difference and once everything is done then we need a cdn this is also similar to the design that we had in uh, in the netflix we introduced cdn for the first time in our netflix video so CDN is nothing but the content delivery network. So for example, if some celebrity or some person who has a lot of follower or a video which has or the sorts, not the video, the sorts or the reels that has become very famous. 
so that will be watched by lot of people it will be watched by like uh, millions of people say so we don't want to uh, make a request to the video feed service every time and get it from the even from the cache not uh, not the database uh, not even from the cache we don't want to pull it from there also we want it to be delivered very fast because everyone in a common area they are asking to watch that video so for that particular scenario the cdn will be populated so we will have a service which will populate the cdn and uh, whenever a client makes a request it will be the video will be returned to that particular client from the closest cdn that is available to that to them so this is the overall picture of the sorts or the reels and even the tiktok now let us talk about some of the table which is required so one table which is important is the video metadata table so in video metadata table we have the user id we will have the video id video url this url is nothing but the url where in the blob storage you have stored the video you can also have a thumbnail url and a thumbnail id added to this particular table i have not added that but you can of course add those column also you will have a status which will tell that in what state the video is currently whether it is uploaded in progress in verification all those things so once it, the status is changed to uploaded then it will be available for uh, the feed generator to be pulled and uh, then added to the timeline we'll have a small description for the video all the hashtags can be added as part of the description itself we can have a video category similar to video category we can have multiple column just for the sake of uh, collecting data from the user that what kind of video they are uploading and we can run later on we can run some uh, algorithm on based on these category like if someone has uploaded a sports category video and there are 10 people who are watching this category of video so maybe in future we can recommend similar category of video to that particular user so for that particular purpose we can have multiple column like this like genres and categories and uh, so on and in the same table we can basically put the number of likes we can keep on updating this for each video that we have uploaded now again the question will come how we will partition this table so that uh, if we have to query from this particular table itself uh, the data from this table itself it will be very very fast in ideal scenario we might not come here and call or we might not come here and basically pick up the video but uh, in case we have to come because uh, the feed generator will anyway put it in the cache and most of the request will be served from the cache but in case you have to come to this particular table to pick up the uh, to pick up the con content or to pick up the data from here so in that particular scenario maybe you can have like a these id you can be it can be outsourced like tiny url like how we were generating the id in tiny url and we can create a list partition based on video id that will be i feel that will be a good approach and uh, yeah in this scenario there is no point of uh, putting a date criteria and all so a range partition might not be a good idea if you want to put a timeline that on this date it was uploaded because no one is going to search based on date most of the search will be there based either on the user id someone wants to look for a video for uploaded by a user or based on some video title or uh, video content so even a uh, partition based on user id will be nice but the only thing is there are so many user so you have to assign some id uh, based on that based on which you can do a list partition or group a set of user into one partition so that can be another approach now capacity planning for this particular table is we have 168 bytes we can say that average number of video created per day is 100k video people are very active these day for tiktok and instagram reels so 100k is a small number only now total size for the day is 16 mb it can go up to 500 mb in a month and even more so this table has to be partitioned very properly and maintained very properly uh, one thing that you can uh, do for this video metadata table is that once we have crossed like 30 days once a video has been uploaded and it has been around 30 days you can archive them in some other uh, in some other table maybe you can have an active and passive table or 
maybe an active table and a history table because uh, these videos or the sorts people watch uh, in this in this particular kind of system everyone watch whatever is the latest video and those video does not last more than 30 days and uh, after 30 days everything gets old and you get new video so for example that rasode me kaun tha video it went on for like 30 days or so and after that everyone forgot about that so that is why if once you have created uh, once you have the video for 30 days or maybe 60 days max you can just move it to history table and in case a request is there you can pull the video from your history table rather than from the main table so that way your active table query will be very very fast because you will have a very small set small subset of data there and whatever is the history data you just put it away or put it in some other database as well finally for the video comment table so video comment will have it will be a small table where will map the video id to the comment id and whatever comment has to be placed apart from this there can be uh, another table so that table design you can go back to instagram and check that will not be different from instagram so that will be the user who follow the other user so in this particular video i have just uh, taken the zist out of the netflix and the instagram video which is required for building of a video like uh, a system like tiktok or instagram so similar to that this will also have uh, a monthly capacity of uh, 1.2 gb so you can see how many comments can be made per day on per video and uh, yeah so that is it for this particular system design do let me know in the comment section if i missed anything or if i have made to, uh, if the gist of the video is not very clear and if there is any confusion you do check out the netflix video and check out the instagram video so it will be helpful because i have not added anything extra which is already explained in those two video it does not seem fair so that is it thanks for watching the tech grant and uh, do subscribe do like the video if you have reached here and do share it with all your friends thank you